and Sydney here with I Inhale Books. Um, today I'm doing um, a video, obviously, a day late because that's how I go, how I roll, you know. Day late videos are my thing, or week late videos. Um, today I'm doing my um, September TBR, and I have a few uh, vi uh, videos. I have a few quit. I have a few books that I have on my list um, this month just because I went to the library again which I need to stop doing because I have books that I need to read on my shelf but I tend to go to the library and find books that I would like to give a try um, anyway so yeah the books all the books that I have on my list I only have five I think and um, they are books that I want to read this month but I'm not going to force myself to read so this actually might be the last video for a little while, for maybe about a week or two, because I'm trying to kind of stay off of uh, social media for a while just to catch up on my reading. Um, maybe get my uh, energy back up for reading and um, I haven't been feeling well, so I just kind of want to stay, stay clear of like social media and stuff like that. Um, the only thing I'll really be doing is watching YouTube videos because I, if I get behind on those I'll have like 700 to catch up on. Anyway. So this will maybe be my last video. I might try to still post one a week, not two, um, if I have an idea of something I'd like to do. But um, let's just jump right in. The first book on my TBR this month is uh, Just Listen. I am that much I've read. I've read this much of it already. Um, it's a really good book. I'm glad I'm getting back into Sarah Dessen. My problem with Sarah Dessen is uh, she's my, um, probably if somebody asked me who my favorite author was, it would be a tie between Sarah Dessen and Nicholas Sparks and Nora Roberts um, in contemporary. I have a favorite author in every genre that I read, but contemporary Sarah Dessen is definitely my favorite. Um, my problem with the Sarah Dessen book is normally um, each chapter is 20 to 30 pages long, which I don't mind a long chapter. It's just, just that if I sit down to read at night and I can only get one chapter read and I'm too tired to read any more, with short chapters it seems like you get more read. You probably still read the same amount of pages, but it just seems like you are reading more because there's you're reading more than one chapter. But sometimes that slows me down with Sarah Dessen books, so I try not to read like multiple ones in a row. But um, my friend told me, um, I have, she's read all of them, I've only read a few, so my friend told me to definitely check this one out, and so far I'm really enjoying it, and I can't wait to find out what happens, and I'm really anticipating wanting to continue reading this. Um, so yeah, and it's also one of the ones that's on my TBR shelf behind me, which is a plus because I've been trying to get some of my TBR books done, so yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get more of my TBR shelf read this um, this year, not this month, but this year, because um, I don't know if you watched it, but these, um, sorry, my dogs are making weird noises. Um, these, this TBR shelf is not every book, obviously, that I have to read on my shelf. This is just an accumulation of 30 books that I need to read that I want to read first before I read any of my other books, so that I have a smaller pick so that I don't have so many books overwhelming me. Anyway, moving on. The next book, like, book I got is actually a book I've read before. Matilda, stop. Um, I thought I'd pick up a book I've read before um, just because a lot of people say if you reread an old book or an old favorite um, that you tend to stay, um, it helps you get out of a reading slump. It gets you back into reading. So I picked up All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven from the library again and I'm probably gonna get like halfway through it. I probably won't read it to the end because um, this was a really, really sad book for me. I um, enjoyed it a lot though. Um, that's why I want to reread it and see if I can get through a book I've read before. But it, I'm gonna try and read the other books that I got first hopefully unless I can't get through one then I'll try to just kind of go back and forth between two so next is I, I'm really into um, contemporaries lately um, those are the only books that I can get through um, the two books that I read the three books or two of the books that I read last month and the month before were both contemporaries the two uh, physical books that I read were both the contemporary books and I got through them relatively quickly so I thought maybe I'd stay on that path just because I, it seems to be working for me. So I found a couple in the new section in my library and this is called The Raging Light by Estelle Lore, 
which I kind of read a little bit about it before I got it and it sounded pretty interesting so see it's new uh, so definitely can't wait to check that out as well as um, when we collide by Emery Lord um, so yeah another contemporary book that I picked up because contemporary seemed to be my thing right now I also have an ebook that I'm terribly terribly terrible at like I've started reading this ebook that I'm supposed to be reviewing for um, an author and I started reading it and I'm about three or four chapters into it and my problem when I am in a reading slump the worst thing to do is to read an ebook but I read an ebook and then I read another started reading another ebook so I'm kind of taking a break from that plus my Kindle app isn't working so I can't read it anyway um, I'm trying to get it to work again but for some reason it just keeps crashing so hopefully I can finish that and or hopefully I can get that fixed and finish it for the author um, but I, I if you're watching this I don't know if you're watching this but I highly apologize and I definitely will still read and review your book I promise. Anyway, the last book that I have um, is not a contemporary. It is um, a pattern for me. I pick one up every time I go to the library, and um, most of the time I bring it back unread, and it just never works. I don't know why. Maybe this is why I'm in a reading slump, because I keep trying to read this person's books, and it just doesn't work. I have The Shining by Stephen King. I'm pretty sure if you go back into my la like last five TBRs I have a, a Stephen King book on it and I promise I haven't read any of them. The Shining is actually um, one I'm interested in reading because of if you've ever watched Friends that's probably the most memorable thing on Friends is Joey's favorite book is The Shining and whenever uh, things get scary he puts it in the freezer and so um, which is always hilarious I'll probably end up doing that with this just because it's funny. Um, but he switches books with Rachel um, and reads Rachel's favorite book, which is Little Women. And he um, puts that in the freezer too, and she puts this in the freezer when she gets scared. So it's just kind of like a little bit, and it's hilarious. And that's kind of what made The Shining stand out to me. And I'm like, and I need to read a Stephen King book, so I'm definitely going to attempt to read this book. It might be the last one I attempt before I take my books back to the library, but it'll definitely be, definitely be an attempt. But yeah, so technically, quick guys, these are my, this is my definite TBR, which is just four bucks. Ignore my dogs, they're having a running frenzy. Matilda, Matilda, come here. Stop. Oh my goodness, that was trying to bite me. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this, these four are definite, and they're all contemporaries, as you can see. Um, I guess winter is... I'm looking for warm and fuzzy, which I guess is okay. Winter's coming. Fall and winter, so maybe love. And normally it's spring and summer when I, re when I read contemporary. Sarah Destin are definitely summer reads for me. I always read a Sarah Destin book in the summer. And then I have this one, which I showed you already. Um, it's part of my TBR, but it's the last one, so I probably won't end up reading this one. Plus, I have crest, like, on my in the back of my mind. Like, I need to read this, but I, I want to at least finish this book before I start reading any of my other books. And yeah, so um, that is all for today's video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Cinder, what are you doing? My dogs always decide to be rambunctious when I'm recording a video. Quit. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my videos. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like any of my other videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're interested in any of my social media, all of it is in the description box below. My Facebook, my Tumblr, my Twitter, my Instagram, uh, personal and otherwise. Um, I will not be on any of my social media, Twitter, Instagram, or Tumblr at all. Facebook, um, their page editing has this cool thing where when you go to post a, a, like a post on your page it asks when you would like to post this and you can schedule posts so every day for the next two weeks I have scheduled post once a day so on my Facebook page I will still be posting but I won't be posting it'll just automatically post I set them up before I turned off all my social media anyway yeah so if I haven't if I don't post any videos um, I will be back please do not unsubscribe please quit please share my videos and my channel with any friends that you may have that you think would enjoy watching my videos and me screaming at my dog hey Matilda quit um, but yeah, this one is the most rambunctious. She's a puppy. She's 
say I'm getting big. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Like I said, social media is stuff down below. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, also, my friend Renee's book Instagram is also in the description box below. I, I always want to mention that so you guys go follow her and check out her channel. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to snip a book. Bye!